Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and I am Tarun from Technology Update and this is the Moto 360, the smartwatch from the Motorola which was launched back in 2015 with the new operating system called Android Wear 1. But now, after one year, the Moto 360 finally received the recent update that is 1.3.0 which is for the devices running on Android Lollipop. So let's take a quick look into this. They have added several features like the first feature is battery saver mode. When the battery goes under 20%, the battery saver mode turns on and saves battery and stop watch from turning off. The second feature is Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi is pretty useful because even if we are not connected to the device and we are connected to the Wi-Fi, we will still get all the updates through Wi-Fi. But yeah, the Wi-Fi drains a little bit of your battery power. So it's up to you that if you want to turn on or turn off your Wi-Fi. The third feature is the gesture mode. In this mode, we can flip the watch to read the notification and that is quite useful in reading notification because now we can read notification without touching the watch simply by flicking the watch. The fourth feature is in which we can change the color of charging dock. Before it was only of blue color but now we can change it by simply swiping it while charging and put some new colors. The fifth feature is the together watch face in which two Android Wear users can stay close throughout the day once we have paired the smartwatch with our friend's smartwatch. The sixth feature is language translate for Android Wear and now we can translate a conversation into 44 available languages. Then we have to flip the wrist to show the translation to someone. When they respond in their language, flip your wrist back and you will see a translation of what they have just said. But this feature requires internet access. The battery life is improved after the several updates. My day starts at 7 in the morning and ends at 12 at the night. The battery lasts up to 8 pm even though everything is turned on on the watch, ok google maps and all this stuff and yeah the battery charges fast as well as we can get a lot back in few minutes. Like if I have to go out and I put the watch on charge I can get a lot back in. And the next main thing is performance. The watch lags some time and drop frames but only sometimes. Mostly when I turn on the watch it looks like the chip takes time to turn on but after the updates we can clearly see improvement in performance of the operating system. And the next big step of Google is that now we can finally connect our Moto 360 to an iOS device whether it's an iPad, iPhone or iPad. They sync up pretty fast and works like a charm. So that's all for now. If you like this video drop a like or sub and I'll see you guys in the next one.